everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to organize data network communication between PLC and SCADA system utilizing Codices OPC server. As a SCADA system, I will use WinCC Flexible. Okay, for the beginning, let's start Codices project. As you can see, I have already created automatic control system, which consists of a PID controller with a periodic set point function and control object. Uh, there is also constant constant disturbance which is has impact on the control object. Now let's check target settings. Make sure you have selected codices PLC WinNT and go to the general, make sure you have checked the download symbol file. Okay. Now we go to workspace. Symbol configuration. Make sure you have checked dump symbol entries. Now hit configure symbol file and select the variables you want to export to OPC server. Okay. So now we can start our codices OPC server. We append new PLC, write our project name. We check the parameters of the uh, port. Okay, now let's check the uh, config uh, communication parameters of our project in codices. Okay, the same. Okay, now we can start our PLC WinNT application. We can log in and download our project. Hit yes. Okay, now I will prepare the parameters of my controller. And we can start it. As you can see, automatic control system is working. Now we can start WinCC and make our SCADA project. I will just quickly change the resolution of the screen. Okay, now we can go to connections and we select the connection with the OPC server. And we select Codices OPC server. Okay. So now we can create our tags. Let's say it would be process value, controller output, and send point value.
data type would be float. And here in the symbol, we check our variables from the RPC server. Now we go to the screen and I'm going to put a trend view so we can check what's going on with our variables. We go to trend and we add three trends for our process value for our controller output and set point value. Now accordingly we select our tags. And let's change the color. So the process value would be red, controller output would be blue, and send point would be green. Okay. So now let's go ahead and uh, test it. Okay, I will change the set point so we can get a clear picture of the transient processes. So as you can see, everything is working. If you have any questions, please feel free and leave them in the comment section below. And that's it for now.